100 burpee challenge. Got this one from David Goggins. 100 burpees, if you do it in less than 10 minutes, you're solid. If you do it in around 11 minutes, in less than 11 minutes, then it's acceptable. If you go above 13 minutes, it's unacceptable and you have to immediately begin again another 100 burpees. So I actually did a little research on this. I'm thinking I definitely get less than eight minutes on this. Uh, I have a goal. It's a lot less than that. <laughs> I've watched several videos of guys just gassing out and calling people out saying they can't be beat on that because it's a difficult challenge. So I'm gonna pin that here and then see if they can be beat. I got it. I think y'all could do it in five minutes. No. Post, post your videos and- No, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. If I can't do it, you can't do it. Cause y'all weaker than me. Facts, fuck the humble shit. Fuck y'all. Right. As a shredder, y'all can subscribe to That's Good Money. I don't yeah. give a fuck if y'all subscribe to me. I'm training to kill all y'all. Facts. All right. We're looking out, Shredder. Yeah. I'll train to kill all y'all. Facts. As David Goggins would say, you don't know me, son. <laughs> but let's see it. Let's see it. That was the 100 burpees challenge, David Goggins, 608. And it's not a challenge for the week. I am approximately five minutes recovered from when I started. So 
I did 25 at 55 seconds. I was like, okay. So you can probably do 25 burpees in one minute. Doing that four times in a row, it's a whole new animal. So to tell you, my triceps are were shot going into this, my shoulders going shot into this. I mean, the difference has probably been like 15, 20 seconds, probably. But uh, that being said, the biggest thing that could be improved is the heart and lungs on this one. So these kind of challenges really give you a good barometer of where you're at. So highly recommend. Can you beat me? Send a video. Or even just do it and see where you're at. Right? That's, <laughs> you trust me. It looks like I can handle that. It's a little more difficult. Not crazy, crazy difficult. If you have some cardio put in your routine. Currently, I'm in a bulking phase. I'm about 209 and a half. And <clears throat> so it's, it's most I've weighed in a little while. <clears throat> eating in a calorie surplus. Adding some strength. I've had some injuries, minor and major, that have really pulled me away from strength training. So I'm trying to lift heavier and heavier and heavier, seeing where I am at compared to where I was. And there's a lot of work to get to where I was. And this challenge is showing me I don't want to neglect my endurance either because that is a very important asset of my training. You're either built to break or built to be broken. You got to get stronger. You got to get faster. Both those together equal power. How long can you do it? That's that endurance. So power endurance is the name of the game. Being able to take people out quickly, but also if you're not able to take them out quickly, be ready for the long game. All right, I'm out here, top of the hill. Smoky as hell over in South Reno. Definitely not worth doing cardio outside of any sort without any kind of protection from that air. So gotta do what you gotta do. I love the cardio outside. Another bird use was not fun, not mother bird cardio. That guy called me out. And that guy also had a message saying, F you, because you can't beat him. He said, don't even try. He said, you know, don't even, doesn't even care if you subscribe or any of that if stuff. I can't do it, you can't do it. He's out weaker than me. Facts, fuck the humble shit. Fuck y'all. I mean, guys, you gotta, when someone speaks to you that way, you gotta show them up right away. Don't let anyone speak to you. You guys be a little insane like me. Obviously, he wasn't talking directly to me in that video, but in my world, he was. So, my goal is to cut his time in half. He did it in 9 minutes, 10 seconds. I didn't quite get it in 4.35, so I will get that, though, by end of year. Let's go. One thing I'm constantly working on that is a game changer once everyone learns this is once you understand something, truly know it, apply it as soon as you possibly can. If something's speaking to you and you can get it done right then, just get it done. And that's what today's burpee challenge, that's what today's take the respirator and the smoky day up a hill feeling was. I'm walking in alignment with what my conscious says, hey, you wanna beat that 100 burpee challenge and smash it out of the park? Do this, do that, do this. And you just listen to that voice in your head into the environment around you, and it'll guide you to your potential.